I have never been a fan of the BBL. I think it is not a very good operation for a lot of reasons. I like things that are reliable, controlled, create balance and proportion, um, and are safe. And this is the antithesis. So reason number five is it doesn't work very well. Uh, once you remove fat, it loses its blood supply. It's very difficult for it to get new blood supply when you put it in, especially if you put a large amount in one big clump altogether, which even if you inject in different areas, eventually this amount in this area becomes a big clump. You're going to lose a good percentage of it, um, not always the same amount, but anywhere from 30 to 60 percent will go away depending on the process and how things work out. So it's ultimately very defeating. Number four, that means it needs to be repeated over and over to get to your result. Repeating anything over and over uh, shows the procedure is not that good, and it is you know, multiple times of having this surgery, having anesthesia, having potential complications, the cost, the recovery. Um, all in all, this is just not a great operation if you know from the get-go more than once. Uh, the number three reason is it creates imbalance which is sort of the opposite of everything I'm always trying to do. And I think especially because it's been such a fad procedure, it sort of went a little bit out of control and it got to the point of just ultimate extremes. And there's, you know, there's nothing balanced about a lot of the results that you see. Um, and then the problem with that is ultimately, as things go on, when the fad comes out of favor, what are you gonna do? Um, so once you've stretched things out and you've distorted the tissues and you've caused that much pressure and you've taken so much fat out of one spot and put it back into such large amounts in another spot, the way that you distribute fat, if you gain a little bit of weight, will also be completely thrown off. And then if you decide that you don't like it anymore because after it sort of peaks and then comes back down and people start re re regaining their, their ground on perspective, how do you get yourself back to normal? And that's not always possible. So also, you know, proceed with caution with anything that's going to permanently distort some part of your body in a way where you may never get it back. But the most important reason why I've never liked it is it's a very dangerous operation. There is a huge uh, percent of chance of having a complication or even a death. And that just makes me incredibly uncomfortable, especially for a procedure that is elective, that doesn't work very well, that has to be done multiple times. And that probably ultimately is going to be something that falls out of favor aesthetically. All of that together, and it's very dangerous. I just don't like procedures like this. Um, and the other problem is not only is it extremely dangerous, but the reason why it can be lethal is the complications from this procedure in many cases are not treatable. So even if you know it's happening and you get to medical care, there may be nothing they could do. Um, I think there are a lot of other ways for contouring to maximize this area, make it look great, and you know, do things within within reason. But all in all, considering these five reasons, I think this is not a good operation. I'm sort of surprised it's had the lifespan that it's had, and I'm happy to see that it's starting to fall out of favor.